you're like a legitimate lawyer, which is uh, crazy. Uh, it's up for debate. He's no, the assistant I to an attorney. Does this to me. Oh really my! God. Wow, what is it? Has he told you to bring this up? Because so I, <laughs> I worked really hard for four years. I did law school, so I did my law degree, did all the qualifying exams, passed them, and started working as a, a trainee solicitor. So you have to like work as a lawyer under someone for like two years before you qualify and can like do it yourself. And so I was like. A normal lawyer in my own right, and that chip just calls me a lawyer's it's, assistant. It's a lot to. It's that's a lot to say. You were just an assistant to an attorney, though. He's literally an assistant. Wait, he, so it, you were you were going through your training um, period? Yeah. So all you, I mean, you just you do everything. So you were almost a full does. lawyer. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Yeah. You're like eighty percent loaded. Uh, Arthur, what was it that you worked <laughs> in though? It was like. Um, Oh, mine medicine. was really interesting. It was like medicine, so wasn't it? I like can't talk about medicine. it, but I did. I, I worked in. You can talk about it now. Can you not? You're not. Like, Maybe, I don't think so. But I, I, so I okay, imagine it. going for je to jail for what something you said I on know, the Bella's to, Christmas period, dressed like that. So, Arthur, you did work in the future of medicine, so you know something that we don't know. <gasps> yeah, so so that's the cool thing about like, so I worked in intellectual property and biotech. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like wow. when new medicines come out, they start the first seed like sometimes decades before they actually come out. So we had to sign NDAs with everyone, but like we were seeing medicine... Well, I was only like two years ago. Do they have the cure for cancer? That won't be out for eight years. I literally, well. <gasps> no, that's crazy. No, 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 no. You can't say anything. But you can't stop me from asking. It's literally like going, it, it's literally like when you think about the stuff we were working on, it's like going into like a pharmacy or a hospital like 10 years into the future. I guess you need to do that because it needs to be approved. Like yeah. you can't like just like... And it costs Starting. so much. Like it's the biggest sinkhole for money, but obviously it's the greatest return if, if you get like a medicine that so works. Question like, You have to test it on 10 people, then a hundred people, then a thousand people, monitor them for months, years, see if there's any long-term side effects. So like if you get something that survives all that way, mm. and obviously loads of time is, is literally just getting billions of dollars going like, you know, we have some medicine here that we think is going to work, but we need another billion to like roll it out. And you need some billionaire to come along and just be like, yeah, we'll bankroll this. Wow. Because if so, it works, I'll get a hundred bill. If it doesn't, I lose my bill. It's like the highest risk reward ratio out of like almost anything you can invest in. Biotech. Well, it's so interesting. Got a question. Go on. So you obviously working in that. You're obviously very experienced in that. What made you go from that field to, well, YouTube? Like, How do you, how do you drop all of that and decide, fuck it, I'm going to roast Big Ed? Because <laughs> you, you must have been making it, or yeah. you were you were in line to make a decent yeah. bag. You must yeah. have seen Chris MD. I think I think uh, yeah. I think you, I mean, <laughs> no, I think you were already making a decent bag, weren't you, at the time? To, to be fair, even when I was on 150k subs, because I was doing that airline passenger stuff that was doing well at the time. Obviously, it's all like view related. I was earning more on YouTube than I was from law at the time, so it was like a fairly easy. Decision. So when, when, you, when even then, in... like the you know the law stuff, like the stuff we work on, could sound really cool, mm. but. A, so much of it is like, oh, here's this like 200 page Word document. Can you just go through and just make sure there's like no obvious errors? And you're like, oh my God. And it'll be 7 a.m. And, you know, it'll come to like 10 p.m. And they're like, oh yeah, by the way, if you're, you're staying for dinner, you can order like the client will pay for it, but this is going to take another three or four hours. And you're like, <gasps> oh. And then you come home at 2 a.m. And then at 7 a.m., you're up again for work. And it's like, when would I even enjoy having money for a nice house? Mm. A nice this, nice that. It's called the hustle, bro. Yeah. yeah. Probably you hear that one. 2 a.m. You know, that's crazy. <laughs> are you glad? Are you glad with the decision you made? You, you think yeah, you made so the right decision? Far, but who knows what the future holds? Hey, if you didn't make that decision, you want to met me. Oh, okay, now I'm regretting. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not trying for to think. What are, what other jobs pay similar to what like the top YouTubers make? I would say being a lawyer at a top firm has yeah. got to be up there. Like, a, like what else pays? What, what's it when you get your? What's it? Sorry, I butchered it. But when you get your name on it. Uh, part, well, partner, 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 partner. Yeah, the partners definitely were raking in. Those are always like, like partner at a top firm, you're chilling, right? Yeah. It's like millions and millions. What does a partner mean? You're just like a. What so about. It's the way they like or? set it up. They just like, rather than it being like a company where you're in shares, you're just like. You're invested partner. in it, yeah. Yeah. You're, what you're are the top it, paying so. jobs in the world that are not like the obvious ones? Like any sportsman, like like talking bank, like. Bank, um, it'll be a banking and stuff. So right? what is it like, like? No, what about those people that do underwater welding? Ooh, nah, no, it's maybe yeah, like 100, 200 grand nah, a year, right? Yeah, that won't be. That's a good bag, Have though. you ever, um, you know the guys that change like the light bulbs on the highest towers in the world? Those are quite expensive, right? Yeah, probably. Those are, that's like quite a good I think, they get paid, I think they just like get paid a lot the, compared per to the job. hours they work. Yeah, per job. So because they might they, get that, like, they only yeah. do like one job every like couple of weeks or so, or like a week or so, but it's not like. Do you reckon, I feel like you're the kind of bloke that could pull that off. I'm you're just going to you, Would you, so 
No, but you're quite a daredevil in I'm, some sense. I'm, I used to be. Like I'm you're not a very an extreme sportsman. Of all my friends, anyway, you're the most extreme sports I know. Uh, no, I'm, I've, I've, I, I, skydiving. I, I would never do that again. Yeah, oh, you hated it. Hate it. Hate yeah, it. I've yeah, never done great, it, and yeah. I probably will never do it. Bungee jumping, I would never do again. No, nope. oh, I've yeah. done it, now and I fuck that. Fuck that. Was it? Did it? Was it you and me that? Yeah, did we did a, like some car over park, some concrete car, your, car your, park. It was yeah, terrible. we did. So this was for a Disney thing where we uh, Ant what Man. was it? Ant Man. Ant Man yeah, yeah. And one of the stunts was we had to do this bungee, and they were like, "Yeah, you guys are going to do bungee jumping." And I was like, "Oh, that's sick, that's sick." And then <clears throat> I remember in the cab, and the, the guy was there, like, "Oh, we're heading to the O2." I was like, "No way!" <laughs> we're like, "What? How do you how do you bungee jump off the O2? This is sick." Turn up, and it turns out it's just in the car park of the O2 and it's just like it's like a glorified oh, forklift so that pulls you all the way up and then you just hear on the radio three, two, one and you just go down and all you see at the bottom is like this shit mattress yeah <laughs> and you're just going at fucking terminal velocity towards it and you could do one of those you see them online all the time where it's like um, it'll be off a bridge and you're sat on a chair and the guy has to essentially push you off this like, it's like a lawn chair I prefer that because I feel like he even though you probably would die hitting the water, I, the fact that there's water beneath me, I wouldn't mind as much as the the fact. I think the water. I think the water like, beneath you means if it snaps, you would just be dead. Yeah. No, if it snaps, you'd be fine because it would still you'd still still get a little bit of like you decelerate yeah. and then it would snap. Okay. If you just you like survive. hit the ground straight away, you'd be. I, I feel like you're quite similar to me. Like you watch a lot of videos of people dying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that okay to say? Yeah. 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 say? Where bad. do you watch these That's videos? Bring this but we were talking about this. Twitter, the other, no, so many Twitter, Instagram, my Twitter, crazy. Because I'll be like, I don't want to follow this account, but they'll show me one video and I'm watching to the end. Yeah. And I'm like, but there are so many that so many times in my life, I'll picture myself and I'll be like, I've seen people die in this exact scenario. Yeah. And it's made me so much more boring, I swear. Like yeah. fairground rides, I just Fuck can't that. do the high oh, ones because yeah, I've yeah. just seen so many. Winter Wonderland, you're going on yeah. That that like well, they broke uh, a Winter Wonderland no. recently. Remember that the the uh, slingshot ride broke at Winter Wonderland. Really? Do you all see oh, this? Half the one of the look, things, search, is Winter Wonderland, oh, uh, yeah. London uh, slingshot something. I yeah. wanted to say though, Arthur. Even though you're saying that, when we went to um, those cave mines, we had to jump into darkness. And Hold on, Arthur this is it. It's like yeah, I'm not. Terrible so did... moment. Oh That's my! All... Oh my god! That was in London. That was Winter Wonderland. Oh shit! Yeah. Fuck yeah, I'm that! Out. I'm out. <laughs> Fuck that! Could you Sabina get? was trying to go on them as well. Could you get um, a bag from them for that? Probably. Like, would you be able to get? <laughs> <laughs> I right, you probably can. Yeah. yeah? You are Surely. You be yeah. Oh, there's yeah. a lawyer here. Yeah. Can, of can course you... you can. That's it's so much easier in America than here. I think. I think we consume so much media that like something goes wrong and you sue. But if like, so you're not getting money from that. You are saying? I don't know. It depends if someone was negligent. Been psychologically boring, scarred, pal. So if they didn't do something, they should have. But if, well, if evidently like, they did, if oh, it's, it's, not, it's, it's not sometimes wrong. shit just goes wrong. Like there was this like famous case where this judge just turned around and was just like, "Listen, sometimes shit goes wrong, and sometimes you just have to deal with 100%, that." Hundred percent, not bro. in those words. Oh, 100%. I was going to say, imagine oh, <laughs> your, chi your child, your, your, rest of his life your child died. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. unlucky yeah. pal. Yeah, yeah, sometimes shit happens. But, but yeah. he basically was just like, "Sometimes shit happens." This is in America where like something goes wrong and you get a, a million pound payout. Like sometimes shit just goes wrong. If everyone did what they're supposed to do, like if they if they sealed on the nuts, like tightened all the screws, did everything they should have done. And for some freak reason, it just snapped. Like, we're not this the country, sadly. How many siblings do you have? I'm one of nine. Are you actually? Yeah. You've, you've yeah. never told me that. No, oh, you're lying. No. See, this could be one of the 90% lies that you said. No guys. way. <laughs> no, I swear to God. I've never lied. It, it's true. My, my facts me. are just so mind Trust me. It's true. It's true. It's mother, middle, his mother like? can take it. I'm the third oldest. Okay. What? She's a... Should I you're the third oldest. That's actually fucking mental. And so you yeah. all the same parents or like? So all with my father. Oh, okay. your dad was a oh, shit. He's a oh, he's a Half with, ooh, my, ooh, half ooh. with my mom. And then he met his new partner <laughs> a few years down the line. She was like, I want four kids. And he was like, for fuck's sake. Fuck. Oh, fine. Let me nut in that it's, again. It's quite, it's quite... <laughs> how familiar, wait, how familiar, uh, how, how much do you guys know about Arthur? Like, how much do you know about no, him? Well, Arthur like Lord. I'm not going to, I'm not going to expose too much, but like, how much, like, like, how much do you guys Lord. know him? I, 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 I don't, I don't how much do you know about the law of the TV? Well, three, four, three, four, three, four, three out of ten, maybe? Three out of ten. Oh, uh, do you know about, um, his, um, You don't okay. talk about your life much. We just kind of yeah, chat about, like, do you know about, do you know about the Arthur TV family wealth? 
No. Without no. no, no. There's no, no. There's no wealth. There is no wealth. But if you were to know about it, do you <laughs> no, know that? Inter- no, more, there's more interesting law to Okay. Do give, give us a bit of interest. Who, who, who's, who's got more family wealth? Is it Caprizi uh, or Arthur? Let me tell you who's one thing. I've, I've got, I've got a friend right? out in the YouTube world that has significant wealth. And I just won't name him. He's just sat here. <laughs> Uh, no, I don't. I, obviously, I'm the least wealthy here by an absolute mile, but ah, yeah. oh, uh, pal, man, I'm sorry, not... but if your if your dad is is cranking out nine kids, he knows that he's got to he's got financial hey, support. Nine him. kids, nine figures. <laughs> <laughs> right, there must guy. be a reason he's got a lot of suitors as well. He must have a lot. Of yeah, cash. two suitors. Who who? He's like fifty. Hasn't. Had have two. you got any? Have you got any step siblings? Oh come on, or? buddy! He's nah, off nah, that fucking was forty hard. women. Nah. Huh? <laughs> do you, do, no, it's quite sweet though. Like we all, obviously like we were in two batches, and the yeah. older batch just sort of went off to school in uni. And my dad works from home because he's a businessman, and he was like, "Oh, I, I miss kind of having the kids running around, and you know." And he was like, "I, I, I was more than happy to have another batch." So fair play mm. to him. I mean, everyone's obviously got their everyone's got different priorities. I think my dad's kind of like. Main he, was he, he, he always says he's like, I'm going to keep going until I get one right. He was like, Arthur, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, Arthur autistic. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, the acoustics are great. <laughs> he's like, eventually I'll get it right. Is there any really fucked up siblings? <laughs> you, you got one you look at and you just think, no chance have your sibling. <laughs> <laughs> crazy no but oh. for real for real you can't I, I was just thinking though like na- so and when you go on for christmas all nine together or split into two yeah everyone everyone's together so oh, that's really know, fun lots, that's, lots yeah, yeah. On the, so it's nice as well like the younger batch like i don't know if you guys have like much younger siblings but like our older older like lots stop believing in santa so if you have any young viewers like far bill um, <laughs> but then obviously the new ones come along and you know christmas comes around and they're like Oh my God, Santa's been like, the mince pie has been eaten, the like, the milk's been drank from and stuff like that. So it makes Christmas. Has everyone got their own bed? Well, the ones that live at home do. I don't live at home. No, because it's like nine anymore. siblings. No, but about? a bunch of them have left. <coughs> yeah. yeah but when, we call, when we come back for Christmas, like what happens to nine siblings? Like where does foot so sleep, sleep together? together? Yeah, I mean, there's, there's a couple of spare Oh, it's not just a big gap. A couple but. of us bunk up if we need to. Mm. Always happy to. Maybe that's why you always shout shit for the second room. <laughs> Mate, you, you know what? You know the I, only I, reason I, I'm I friends with this, this guy is because of the wealth. Like, I obviously, I grew up in a really big family, and then I went to uni, and my first house was in the halls, and then in second year, it was with, in a house of six. So, like, I've literally, I've never lived in like a house with less than like really five or six people until I went to YouTube, and then like now, obviously, I, I've I've only got two housemates, but I much prefer. Like if if someone gave me the choice, I'd happily live with like six or seven mates rather really? than have my own space. Yeah, you prefer mm. like a little bit of a chaotic household. Not chaotic, but like I, I, I a like, busy like one. I, I I'd much rather that like even if it's just in an apartment block. Like I'd much rather have dinner with like five or six. Um, Hello Tower was but the like, place like they have to be really close yeah, friends. Yeah, you would like, have enjoyed it. Nah, so. yeah, but what, what was the that is we all had our own space still. I think if you live in one flat with seven people, it become too cluttered. We you had like, it was like three flats on kind of. It's close floors but mm. everyone had their own kind of area to go off to yeah I feel like it, seven in one place would be too much you're, you're in Halo your flat was not we didn't go to it too much it was mainly Ali's wasn't it it was either oh, Ali's or mine and yours mine and yours mine and yours as well was also quite bad like, do you boys miss those days of just being like a little bit so many of us like, it was, they, it, they, it, they it, suited it, the time it was very um, like we could just literally it would be like one of those things where I'm like I'm sat on my PC editing some shit FIFA video and like the boys, like this guy just fucking walk through the door. It's like, you don't, you knock don't on, lock the door and just no. fucking walk in. Yeah. It wasn't like a case of like, you know, obviously when you're at your home, it's like, it wouldn't be knocking on the door. It's like, because we're all living in the same building, he'd be like, right, fuck, I'm going chips. He'll come down, come into the flat, come into my room and you're just lying in the bed. I'm so editing a bit. Just and bro would, bro would just chill there for hours and we'll just be chatting. It's like, I do miss sometimes because it was very, probably the most freeing times that we had. Like it was like a, everything was like, it didn't matter. Nothing mattered. Feel like when you live with a woman, like when you live with your girlfriend, you don't like crave that again though. Always ruining it. Women. <laughs> <laughs> ruining it. <laughs> no, I'm gonna walk out. No, I like it. I no, like I'm, it. I'm, I'm, I'm had enough. No, you're right, Prody, but that's, right, that's when it changes. That's spot on that, the second, yeah, The second you, you get a girlfriend is when shit really changes and that's when- <clears throat> No, it's just the female touch in a home's nice. 
Yeah, yeah, not, they, they, not, yeah not because it goes you, from being a house. fucking shit hole. We had the we had the fucking yeah. we had the Calix Calfrizi Rotorshaw touch on our flight. It was fucking it, we, mm. we had a we had a really clean flat. We had that's to, uh, bollocks. <laughs> that's that, you know what? Our, 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 our flat was functional. Are you a messy guy. Mm. Yeah, I'm not. No, I wouldn't say. I say I'm better now, but like I said. From living with my girlfriend, I have day, adopted better habits. But certainly before that, bro, I d you have to remember, I didn't even like have the, I didn't go to uni and then learn how to live. Like you just go in, live with your mates, make YouTube videos. Like it was just like kind of like being mm. in the deep end, I guess. Mm. Yeah. Harry, you had that crazy room. You had that autistic room. You had like Pepsi cans hanging off strings and shit. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Sensory. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm so, I'm so I know, no, no, no. Lie, sensory shit. He used to, <laughs> he used to come in with a drumstick. He had to tap four things for fucking shit. <laughs> 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 no, Harry's room was always very. He, you, you cared a lot about oh, yeah, how you your room looked. But you, right, right, let me throw you back a little bit. Yeah. I'm going to throw you back to Halo Tower. Uh -huh. And you bought that fucking like massive vinyl spacing and put it behind your bed. Do you remember that? And it was like the, a. The, the, the decal on the roof. It was the fucking yeah, sick yeah, yeah, yeah. though, wasn't it? The, the worst thing I bought, I bought a. Um, I had bad back posture. So I bought this like posture, like. Uh, basically, you know, it, didn't, it, it like strapped around my knees and then my back. So when you sit, it would like force you to sit like Oh, me. I remember. And I was this. so excited. I paid like 200 quid for this thing. I was so excited. Oh, shit. And then, then the him and Lux walked in and just like, <laughs> laughed in my face for like Bro, three minutes. So you, I no, no, no. Imagine you've got some geezer like. Yeah, he, it he, was. He's, like, he's in some bondage <laughs> contraption at his desk. <laughs> Editing FIFA packs, yeah. <laughs> and I looked in, I was there like, no matter what you're wearing here, like this is a shambles. It would have would have saved my back posture. Am I right in saying though that back in the day, back in those times where it was like Rockshaw, Halo Tower times, you were one of the first to kind of go with the idea of the backdrop needs to be relatable and look nice. I think you were. No. I think, I think you yeah. were. Because I remember looking up and thinking, damn man. This fucking moron got it. Well, no, no, no. Have you seen what Pokemon does now? She she has like a fake bedroom. Like people, like, it's like a new thing. You have to make it look like a bedroom in the yeah. studio. There's so she had a set, yeah. a bedroom set. She's a bedroom set. There's yeah, a lot yeah, of Pokemon, yeah. uh, po Pokemon, <laughs> Pokemon, uh, what's her name? Pokemon. Pokemon. There's a lot of lore going around right now. But her. Go on, there's the lore. There's like, a, there's like two sides to it. But obviously she's a fucking ratty ass bitch. <laughs> Wait, what? Because what? she she what? starts selling these cookies at, at extra <laughs> like crazy prices, right? So okay. everyone started hating on her, and it went crazy. I'm like, no, I let me tell you the story. This. Let me tell you the story. Yeah. You can tell he's <laughs> panicking to make it interesting. <laughs> yeah. he's like, no, no, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> nah, I swear to God, you, listen. Go on, let me tell you the law. So it's gone crazy, right? She's brought out these cookies. Probably bring up the cookies. No, no, we know the. <laughs> we know the she cookies. brought out the cookies, but there's another side so to the law. The so it went crazy. She obviously got slandered. Everyone's just going at her nonstop, bang, bang, bang. And then a picture of her dropped online. And then you know all them Twitter accounts online, like Scuba Ryan and everyone. Everyone, <laughs> just, everyone just switched up and went, Pokemon was right. And it's just a picture of her sat in the chair looking like Loki, little baddie. Wait, what's I got anything to do with? <laughs> Bro, I just went on a tangent. <laughs> made zero sense in his whole thing. But can I just say one thing? But uh, if my miss is watching this, I love her a lot, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Someone mute this guy's mind. Oh my, like, I never even... <laughs> I swear my mom's this like, guy like, water. I never even looked at another woman in my life. What are you talking about, Jim? Oh, man. 